Stan Studs and Supermans. When I made a video going over the best LMGs to dominate PvE, there was only one strand LMG in the game, that being the Circular Logic. However, this season, we got ourselves a new challenger. Along with that, I also went over a new auto rifle in the game called the Ross Arago 4. And let me tell you, that auto rifle's an absolute beast. The reason why I bring both of these topics up is because this strand LMG that we are about to talk about is an absolute demon. It's a beast, and it is easily the best strand LMG in the game, even though there's only two of them. Why did I mention the Ross Argo 4? Well, I want you to check out that video. But that auto rifle has Onslaught, which is really fun and a pretty darn good perk. And what does this LMG have in common with that auto rifle? Well, if you're smart and put two and two together, you got four. And that this gun also has Onslaught. But unlike a primary, this LMG, it's a lot harder. Meaning, it is going to be an absolute beast from the east, and that is what we are here to talk about today. The LMG that we are talking about is called the Marcato 45. Like the Ross Argo 4, it is unfortunately a world drop, meaning RNG can definitely be an uphill battle to get the roll on this LMG. However, I'm making this video because I want it to be known to you guys that this absolute badass LMG is out there, it exists, and it's waiting for you to get a good roll of it. As we know, every season we do get new world drops added to the pool. Some of them are pretty mid. However, sometimes we get a diamond in the rough. Although this season, it feels like a lot of the new world drop weapons are actually pretty darn good, or at least at the bottom line, very unique. So, let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about the Marcato 45. This is a Soros LMG, by the way, meaning it has the Soros Synergy Origin Trait. Reloading grants this weapon bonus handling and reduces incoming flinch for a short time. Also, by the way, if you do want to get your games in DLC for a cheaper price, you can always head over to Instant Gaming. It's going to be the top link in the description. Their sole purpose is to save you money on games and those games DLCs. So let's go ahead and talk more about the Marcato. First off, let's talk about its frame because frames are pretty darn important because it's the foundation of the weapon and if the frame sucks, the weapon is automatically at a huge disadvantage. Look at precision frame rockets. Nobody cares about them because you automatically lose 20% damage compared to other frames, at least adaptive and aggressive frames. So we're not here to talk about rocket launchers. Speaking of adaptive frames, this LMG is an adaptive frame 450 rpm lmg which in the community's eyes is the best and most well received archetype of lmg so we already can check that off the list it's an adaptive frame 450 rpm that's awesome that's something like the commemoration and the song of air Ute. we're off to a good start now let's pull up the actual weapons perk pool for you okay so upon first glance you'll notice something it's a pretty decent perk pool, man. It's not bad at all. You got some stuff to work with here. First of all, in the third column, I think the best perk in the third column is the one and only, tried and true, and the thumbnail for a reason, slice. Nah, I'm just kidding. Demolitionist, baby. That's because the main weakness of an LMG is its slow reload, so you generally want to have some way to either skip it or speed up the reload however you can and luckily with demolitionist every time you yeet a grenade or in the background gameplay's case use your grapple grenade you're gonna automatically reload your lmg very useful very handy and when you get weapon kills with the weapon that has demolitionist you're gonna get yourself some grenade energy back to you now it's not a special weapon so it's not gonna get a juice or 20 percent it is going to get 10 percent grenade ability energy back to you each kill you get with this weapon and because in the background gameplay we are on strand we're able to make use of things like threat of generation to help speed up that process even more and the grapple grenade melee by default has a really fast cooldown which is very useful now some other perks in the third column that might be useful maybe some higher end content maybe slice dude i feel like slice has got to have some sort of utility and something like a grandmaster or master activities as whenever you cast your ability it allows this weapon to sever targets on hit for a brief duration up to a maximum of five hits so if you cast your class ability with this weapon at a distance you'll be able to make enemies do less damage to you i'm not saying this is some insane new meta perk but i i I feel like there's gotta be some situation where this perk provides some decent utility to you. I just haven't found that exact situation for it just yet. 
but I definitely wanted to mention it. Attrition Orbs is here as well, but from what I'm hearing, bro, it, it's kind of a bit lackluster. Like, I'm pretty sure you're gonna have to use a decent chunk of your magazine just to actually proc this perk. So I, I feel like this perk needs to be changed to where you don't need to dump as much of your mag as you do right now in order to spawn one orb because the idea behind it is good but right now its execution is not really that good we also do have threat detector which like i said any way to speed up the lmg's reload is always going to be welcomed here not saying it's the best perk in this column but i definitely wanted to mention it and then we have triple tap rapidly landing precision hits will return one round to the magazine now this weapons magazine isn't the fattest in the world but in sometimes some situations triple tap can be pretty useful especially if you're using this weapon against like a tankier champion a higher health enemy and some difficult content right although if you had to ask me what do i think is the best third column perk bro i'm easily no hesitation telling you demolitionist baby eat a grenade skip the reload now in the fourth column let me tell you my boy onslaught it's staring at you in the face this thing is an absolute demon of a perk it's not as overwhelmingly powerful and higher in content just because it takes more bullets to down one target however it's still going to be at least really darn good especially on an lmg because lmgs just naturally hit really darn hard they're not the best for boss damage but they are really really good when you're having to clear out some tankier enemies and something like a grandmaster obviously in the background gameplay that is what we have on our lmg is onslaught and dude yeah dude it is so damn good <laughs> it feels so powerful like it is a great perk i love onslaught i'm so glad it's back in the game too man you do have hatchling ah next perk you do have the niche surrounded right you can give yourself a 40 percent damage buff whenever you have three enemies within an eight meter radius of you once again this can be useful in something like a gm because there's going to be a decent amount of enemies that you're going to be facing off although there could definitely be some situations where you're sitting a little further back i may i just want to mention surrounding because it always does have niche spots where this perk is so dang good because it just gives you such a fat damage buff my man 40 percent for free on an lmg just by being around a few enemies hey we'll take that this weapon also does have a dagio which i feel like actually could be pretty decent on this weapon after defeating a target this weapon's gonna fire charge or draw more slowly and it's gonna deal increased damage for a brief time right so you get a kill with this weapon for seven seconds you're gonna deal 30 percent increased damage you're gonna fire 20 percent faster and you're gonna get 10 range hey man this or onslaught could definitely definitely be pretty darn good i don't mention this perk that often but right here on this weapon i feel like it could frag out a little bit you know what i mean and then the other perks in the fourth column are under over which just allows you to deal bonus damage to targets with over shields in an era without match game i don't feel like this perk is really that good at all personally but it's there then you do have golden tricorn okay this on something like a banner of war titan could definitely be pretty good because you could get yourself a 50 percent damage buff if you get a matching grenade or powered melee kill while you already have golden tricorn up so you get a kill with your lmg you then grapple melee and add or just frenzy melee and add you'll then be up to a 50 percent damage buff for 10 seconds i feel like onslaught and adagio would both be better here but it's here you know what i mean Overall, I feel like this perk pool is, at the bare minimum, good. And some roles can definitely allow for this thing to shine bright like a diamond, even though it's green like an emerald. You got a lot of combinations to go with in this perk pool. Like I said earlier, demo and onslaught, really good. You could go with a full strand setup with slice and hatchling if you really wanted to. But you got a decent amount of ingredients to cook up a really awesome LMG. And because it's strand, and which there's only two of... There might be a decent little market out there for this bad boy. So, if you do get a world drop of the Marcado 45 Strand LMG, I would definitely at least look at its perks first before you just auto dismantle it, as you could definitely find yourself coming up across a gem that you were not expecting. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider dropping a like and or consider subscribing for that matter. We did just hit 25K, which is pretty darn awesome. Thank you so much for your support. You guys be blessed, stay safe, and I'll see your beautiful faces in the next one. Adios.